Alrighty, how's it going everyone? Welcome to this. I'm going to show you guys how to set up your thinkorswim so you can use it with supply and demand trading. I'm going to show you how I have mine set up and you guys can do the your best to match it if you want. So, I do have my, um, let's like, let me find it dupe my workspace I have my workspace in my discord it's going it's free right now but eventually it won't be free but you can get my workspace and it'll do all this for you but if you don't want to do that I understand you can come to settings I always like I like starting appearance my border up I like to have it a little like a What's the color? Like a lighter green, and my red lighter red, so it's easier on my eyes. Cause I don't like the, I don't like the regular colors they use. It's like a dark red, dark green. But I like to have my fill up, make my candles look all clean and nice. Fill down look like that. So I like my like that. Um, my background, I just have it on the black. I have the grid turned off. I recommend turning it off. And you can have this change the snap crossers to OHLC. All right. Also in this, sorry, you're gonna to want to come to if you trade equities, turn show extended hours trading off. If you trade futures, you can leave it on. So if you're charting ES and Q, leave this on. But if you're charting like SPY or QQ for some reason, you're gonna to want to turn it off. Um. My time frames, this is the time frames I like to use. It's easy to you just add time frame. Intraday, you know, that goes up to, I guess you can go up to whatever days you want. But you can't go higher than 12 hours, right? can you? You might be able to. No, you can only go up to 12. So I recommend just going intraday, set up all your stuff. I like to have my time intervals to five days on some, and on some others I like to have them 30 days so I can look a little farther out. Uh, daily, this is how you get your years. I like to have all mine on just one year because I don't really care. I'm not back testing at all. So there's that. Here in the time axis, my expansion area is on 10. Um, I like the rollover lines and year marking lines on. Uh, my agar, I don't, I didn't change this, this, or this at all. You don't, have to, I think it's just what you ever have going. Price axis, price axis. Um, nothing really here. I changed. Yeah, I didn't change anything here. General, on general. Um, if you have this on the appearance, this doesn't really matter. So don't worry about that. Make sure you have. You're, you're gonna have to have this. Uh, you can have this if you want. So you have. I used to have this on my thing. If it'll pop up on each chart, you can have this on each chart, but I don't really just come up here and it pulls down. I don't really care for it, so I just have it off. Data box, so you can have this, or if you look around, I don't really care. This is pretty decent, pretty useful, but I don't really care for it. Off. All right. That, that, that. Now, we are going to check out the application settings on the setup. Application settings, you, uh, for everything I have, I have single orders only. Um, you want to change your AT, or if you're using TOS trade, make sure this is zero. Make sure you have no delay. Some, I think the regular, the, it's like three seconds, the default. You can have this if you want, if you're actually using this. Um, the color scheme, I have dark, just because I like it more darker. That's just me. Um, make sure you have this, if you want to use, just have everything fast. We like fast. Okay. My drawings for my uh, rank tables and everything, I'm just going to turn this off. Default. Okay. Sorry. 
if you want, you can turn this nap crosshair to none, so you can have more freedom. Yeah, that's what. All right, so for the drawings, we're just gonna, just gonna make these default. Re reset the factor default. Reset the factor def default. All right. So this, I'm gonna go to edit properties with. Uh, I like to have a two. My color, the bottom right green one. I like that one. Oh wait, no wait. Eh. We're actually gonna change this to. I think I have mine on four, actually. Your price level, it's whatever the time frame you're on. Show name, I like it on the right. Make sure you have a both uh, and this the right extension on. Show price, I have mine turned on on the right also. All right. Oh, yeah, let's, let's make this a three. Actually, that looks a little better. Right in the middle. Yeah. Actually, we can see what I usually have. Two. Okay, I do have a two. I thought I had a higher. Two. All right. And we have that. And then we go to our drawing. For this, for I want to make a supply zone, I just use this color. See, easy. Easy as that. For the rectangle, it's kind of a little more difficult. You click this one, come to more, go to the transparency, make it around 50 something, 50, 60. It's okay, and you see it's like this. Now, for both of these, you want to save as default. Save as default. Alright, and now for uh, what I like to do, oh, let me delete all these. We're just gonna act like there's a, a let's look for one, I probably find one. Right here, we can use this. We can use this. So I like this is how I like to do mine. Start here, right click, add drawing, start I like to start with the rectangle, edit properties, change it to a month out, two months out, I don't care. Click more, HSV, and then drag this to the top. And that will give you a nice little supply zone without having to do anything, el anything else. And same thing, just come here, edit properties, put five minute, make it red. Um, and since we have it on the snap drawings, the OHLC, it'll snap and give you a nice little number so you don't have to worry about 0 0.78. And yeah. Okay. And now we have supply zone. It's that easy. Um and also if you want to open shared items you just come set up open shared item i'm going to use an example for my group here we want the volume let's copy the link paste the link preview and then it'll open here and you import it now after you import it you want to click this thing you can click this and go to um, just type in user. Why is it not even, it's not even looking? User, yeah. You can go up user and it'll show you all your user defined ones, the ones that you made. And then just click Braden's volume and it'll go right in your chart. Just like this. And then it'll pop up down here. Um, I think that's all. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to edit this down, and uh, have a good day.